The use of an industrial vibrator to promote the flow of material in a truck body is commonplace today. While electric, hydraulic, and pneumatic driven vibration solutions exist, the electric is the most common. This training video will demonstrate the installation of a DC electric vibrator on a dump body, one of the most common truck mounted applications. We thank Bunnell Industries in Dixon, Illinois for their assistance in allowing us to film their installation of a DC 3200 truck vibrator at their facility. A truck vibrator mounted on the underside of any rear dump or spreader body can benefit the truck owner and operator in several ways. Improved productivity, reduced equipment damage, and increased operator safety all result from using a vibrator to promote and maintain material flow. Carryback can be practically eliminated. This means more material is hauled and that means fewer cycles to move a given amount of material. This translates to lower labor and fuel costs as well as reduced vehicle wear. In addition, using a truck vibrator makes dump times faster and material is more evenly distributed when spreading. Since the material can be more completely discharged from the truck body, labor cost may be further reduced since the need for an employee to clean out truck beds may be eliminated. Extra strain on hydraulic components from lowering half full beds is eliminated. Operators won't need to bang the tailgate to loosen material. Drivers don't need to slam on the brakes or pop the clutch to loosen the load, minimizing the potential for damaging critical components. And there's no need to clean out the bed with a backhoe or other equipment that can scar the bed and create even more places for material to stick. Truck mounted vibrators help keep the operator inside the cab and off the back of the truck. Truck vibrators can also facilitate material flow to minimize possible tip over during spreading or dumping. There are many reasons to offer and install a truck vibrator on dump or spreader bodies. Installation can be accomplished simply as you will see in the remainder of this video. The process of installing a truck vibrator on a dump body is illustrated within this training video. The process involves several steps. They are choosing the mounting location, modifying the truck body, the wiring harness, mounting the vibrator, and the electrical connections. The location of the vibrator on the truck body must be chosen such that the force created by the vibrator is introduced into the material at all possible sticking points. This means the force needs to be coupled directly to the spine or backbone of the body. The best location for this is just behind the doghouse or at the front of the underside of the body between the spines that run the length of the body. Not all dump bodies have a doghouse, as can be seen by the example within the video. By mounting the vibrator mounting bracket attached to both main spines at the front of the body, the vibrator force will travel into the material along the length of the spines and outward from the spines to the sides of the body. The truck body needs to be prepared for the installation of the vibrator. This process can be simply accomplished. In our example installation within the video, a C-channel has been fabricated for mounting between the two main spines on the underside of the body. The vibrator mounting bracket will be attached to the C-channel. After fitting this in place, the body is ready for sandblasting and painting. The example installation is of a Cougar Industries DC3200 truck vibrator. This vibrator will provide 3200 pounds of force into the material and will operate at 4000 RPM. The fabricated C-channel has been notched so that it can be welded to the two spines that run down the center of the dump body. The vibrator mounting plate is welded to the C-channel. The mounting plate is tacked in place and then a full weld is placed on each side. Note that mounting bolts were installed in the vibrator mounting bracket before welding. This protects the threads in the vibrator bracket mounting holes throughout the body preparation process. Once the C-channel assembly has cooled, it is fitted in place between the body spines. In our example, the welder uses a hydraulic jack and a 2x4 to hold the C-channel assembly in place while he tacks the C-channel first to one spine and then to the other. 
Any safe fixture can be used. Full welds are then applied. In addition, while welding the bracket to the underside of the body, the welder takes the opportunity to prepare for the truck wiring by welding the rigid metal conduit in place. This conduit runs the length of the body for lighting and any other electrical items at the rear of the body. The next step in the process is to apply a finish to the mounting bracket to protect it from the weather. This is done when the new truck body goes through its finishing process. The first step is sandblasting. This removes any surface oxidation that might exist and prepares the metal to accept the paint. The vibrator mounting bracket is painted along with the truck body. No special accommodation is made for the vibrator mounting during this process. The electrical wiring of the vibrator can be run separately or as a part of a whole truck wiring harness. Very often, the momentary switch for the vibrator located in the truck cab will be connected through a solenoid and possibly even a timer. The latter is a useful accessory to ensure that the driver does not accidentally operate the vibrator on an extended continuous basis. After the truck body is mounted onto the truck, the vibrator can now be physically installed on the prepared mounting bracket. After the physical installation, the power wiring is connected. It's finished. 
The vibrator installation is now complete and the truck is ready to roll.